there guys, my name is Casey Shardonks the Born, but built for factual entertainment and welcome to a theme park newsroom update where today we're going to be talking about SeaWorld Orlando's announcement, I thought it was 2021, some of us thought it could be 2021 or 2022, however we now know what the announcement was, what the teaser was and it was something I predicted but I thought it would be a 2021 and not this year, however with physical distancing in place, they're going to be relaunching Electric Ocean in a brand new way with Electric Ocean Remix. So, they announced the video on SeaWorld Orlando social media. You can go check that video out. But today, we're going to be sharing with you an article from Attractions Magazine, uh, which I've linked in the description down below. So you can go and check that out for yourselves. Uh, we're going to check out all the information to do with the relaunch and the remix of Electric Ocean coming this year. And uh, yeah, just share with you guys what's happening. So before we get started with that, here is how you guys can interact with the channel. If you've loved this video, make sure you hit the like button below. Make sure you also comment down below your thoughts and opinions on the video topic. And also make sure you subscribe to Coach Chal YouTube channel for more. And click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Please share the channel with your friends, your family and our social media. And make sure you also comment down below your video suggestions which will be saved. Your shout outs which will be saved for the next day's videos. And also make sure you send in your merchandise continuously on Instagram and Snapchat. The links for both are in the description down below and I'll save your merchandise pictures with your name and location for the next merchandise showcase video. Also make sure you get your questions in the comments down below. Use the hashtag question before or after your question and they will be saved for our 2000 subscriber Q&A. Also guys make sure you reach that subscriber goal of 10,000 subs in the next 365 days and counting. If we do that I will release Coaster Channel merchandise on a new website as well as other projects I've got planned for the long term future. Let's get into another thrilling video. So according to Attractions Magazine, as summer heats up, SeaWorld Orlando will come alive once again with Electric Ocean Remix, a modified version of the nighttime dance event. Starting on July the 4th and continuing on Fridays and Saturdays through September 6th, Guests can stay late and enjoy electrifying dance music while maintaining a safe physical distance from others. The fun continues with Light Up the Sky, a fireworks and pyrotechnic spectacular that brings the ocean to the skies. In addition to the fireworks, you've also got an atmosphere of entertainment on the waterfront where a DJ will be spinning tunes for those waiting for the big display. Guests will have designated areas to know where to stand for physical distancing from others while still being able to enjoy the entertainment offerings. Dancers and other atmosphere acts will also be around to help get the party started and all guests with existing tickets, fun cards and annual passes will have to make a reservation in advance in order to visit. And officially from Kyle Miller, the park president, we are thrilled to be able to bring Orlando's number one summertime, uh, summer nighttime event, Electric Ocean, back to SeaWorld in a remix that will keep all of our guests safe while allowing them to enjoy this electrifying event. Safety is a top priority for our park team and we've worked hard to modify elements of Electric Ocean while keeping all the energy and excitement that our guests have come to love with the launch of Electric Ocean Remix. So that, my friends, is the latest details on Electric Ocean Remix, starting July 24th and continuing on throughout the summer. Now, this, my friends, is an exciting announcement. The fact they're remixing and relaunching Electric Ocean. Now, I want to give a massive shout out once again to Attractions Magazine for the information used in that article. I can link the link in the description down below for that, where you can check out the article for yourselves, as previously suggested. But, now I'm going to share my thoughts on it. So, what do I think will happen compared to the original Electric Ocean? I think we're going to get more lighting, more sound, more dancing, more effects, and just more fireworks. I think it's just going to be an even bigger event. There could be new soundtrack uh, compared to the previous Electric Ocean show. Um, but I think this is, like I said in the previous video on this yesterday, it comes at the same time as Busch Gardens Tampa announced their fireworks. So... You know, they're relaunching all these massive nighttime events and, you know, Electric Ocean Remix will be a massive relaunch of a nighttime spectacular. And, you know, I, I, I had a strong feeling this was going to be the announcement, but I thought it was going to be, you know, 2021's edition, which kind of makes me hope, deep down, that Icebreaker 
uh, may open this year as well. But I think on the flip side of it, this announcement could give me a gut feeling that Icebreaker is going to be delayed till 2021, which is what I know a lot of people have done with their new attractions as well. So that would make the Surf Coaster 2022, which, to be fair, wouldn't be a bad thing. It wouldn't be, a, you know, a bad thing. I think this pandemic shouldn't be, you know, pe shouldn't be an excuse for people to go off the rails and say, oh, why didn't Icebreaker open this year? And why does it have to open in 2021? Boo, 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 boo. It's not. And trust me, this pandemic is more important to get sorted. And then 2021, we can go into it with a brighter mindset and we can just enjoy rising attractions like normal again. Or to, to as normal an extent as possible. So, um, I think Icebreaker will be delayed till next year. And I think 2022 will be the year of the Surf Coaster. If you didn't know from the last video, if you just tuned in to the channel, hello. And if you don't know what a Surf Coaster is, basically... Look at Bulger and Mabillard, they're a Swiss-born manufactured company. They've manufactured many coasters in the UK and the US, uh, such as Wild Eagle, which is a wing coaster at Dollywood. Um, Shambhala, which is a hyper coaster at Spain's Puerto Ventura World. Um, along with many more, they've done hypers, they've done wing, inverted, flying, giga, they've done loads of stuff. And... Basically, this is their take on a launch coaster. You look at Incredible Hulk at Universal's Islands of Adventure in uh, um, Florida, and you look at the the B M launch system on that, or the B, well, it's like a launch system on a B M track, um, like a launched sit down coaster, I guess. Basically, this is B M's take on a launch coaster. So they're gonna, I'm hoping they're gonna take uh, inspiration from many other elements of other launch coaster manufacturers, such as Intamin. Um, they can take some RMC style elements maybe um, and produce an incredible layout for this surf coaster so that'll be 2022 in my opinion 2021 will be the delayed icebreaker which to be fair wouldn't be a bad problem uh, it would just it would just be a longer wait for an even greater family thrill coaster so I, I'd see it that way I don't see it as a great ride being delayed because of a pandemic I see it as we're waiting longer for a great ride so that's how I see it I don't see it as a problem so um, and I think this event, again, would coincide with Icebreaker possibly being delayed till next year because I think th this event would make people forget that Icebreaker is being delayed till next year because I think this event will brighten people's spirits. So, and, you know, even though people might be upset that Icebreaker has been delayed till next year and then the following year in 2022 we'll get this surf coaster or maybe 2023, who knows. Um, I think that this, as a 2020 edition, is great. I think it's a great remix and relaunch, well, remix and relaunch of Electric Ocean. And I think they're going to be really surprised at how well they do it. So, there we go. So, thank you very much, guys, for watching this Theme Park Newsroom update on Electric Ocean. Now, I do say in my intros recently, Doncaster Bourne built for factual entertainment. And let's say factual, factual entertainment. The reason I say that is because I want to put it down to you guys. Do you want to see more than just theme parks? Do you want to see water parks being reported on? Do you want to see museums? Do you want to see other attractions being reported on, like the Midway attraction? Comment down below. Just comment down below. The name will still be Coaster Chow because we are a coaster company. But, you know, do, I, do you want me to report on water parks and museums and things like that? Um, because I say Doncaster Bourne built for factual entertainment. You know, do you want me to report on the whole attractions industry, not just theme parks and like midway attractions, do you want me to do water parks and museums and things like that as well? And interactive attractions, do you want me to do that as well? I, I don't mind. But, what I will say is the content is going to be massive over the next few weeks. We've got some brilliant content coming, we've got some reaction videos, uh, we've got some incredible theme park news updates and construction updates, I'm sure. You know, World of Belgium's rapidly progressing their mega coaster for next year, which we did an update on yesterday, check that out. Uh, that's going to be massive. We've got some other massive updates coming as well. So, big, big few weeks for the channel. So, thank you very much, guys, for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. And for now, guys, my name is Coach Shell, Caitlin, the Coast of Life. And I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day.